G'day everybody, welcome back to a short summary of the firefighter pump that we picked up about a month or two ago. We'll get out of the sun, there we go. So, there we go, that's better isn't it? Uh, so we bought this firefighting unit um, for 200 bucks. It came with a pump, came with another pump on the top, came with this big humongous made from titanic steel frame and an IBC. I wanted that pump, that IBC, and whatever we could do with the rest of it. So, let's go for a little walk and climb, and I'll show you what we did. So originally, there was a triangular shaped frame here with another motor on the top and a stirrer. And you can see what's left of the stirrer down in the soup. Um, that motor was sea solid. All the ATF and brake fluid in the world, sorry, ATF and acetone in the world was never gonna get that unstuck. So I cut it off and then when I cut the steer stirrer off, it fell in the tank and my arms aren't long enough to get it out. So that motor went to the dump. And then I also added a fill pipe so I don't have to climb up and down to get it to work been flushed about 10 times and the molasses is finally out of it. Uh, this is the heaviest steel frame in the entire world, um, but it's doing the job. Uh, it's currently sitting on the back of one of the old utes. Um, it's not what it's designed for. Um, there's a ton and a bit sitting on the back of this ute. It ain't great. Um, but all I'm doing with it at the moment you can see there I need some air in the tyre. All I'm doing with it at the moment is watering the trees. And it's also so I have a water source out here if I have a fire. Now, I'm not going to do a lot with a 1,000 litres of water in the Australian bush if it catches fire. But if I can stop a bushfire, if I hit a rock with the slasher or whatever, then that's what it's for. Uh, what else did we do? So the pump. Um, this pump was seized completely, full of molasses, chockers. Uh, acetone and ATF down its throat, let it sit for two days, took this cover off, grabbed a big shifter, turned it, bang, away it went. Uh, half a shot glass full of two-stroke down its throat, and it's run fine. Uh, we did end up putting a new carby on it because it had a fuel leak from under there, and since that it's gone great. Uh, put some new taps on it and I've also got the ability to put the big two inch hose out if I want to fill up a tank somewhere so um, as you saw it does work it goes good uh, it's a $200 pump uh, I could probably just go and buy a new one and I'd be much much happier it is a bit inconsistent with the flow rate uh, I'm not entirely convinced that this impeller in here isn't eating itself or half gone um, but for now, water trees, fill tanks, wash tractors. Um, so there you go. Okay, so that's another $200 project, which cost me $46 for a carby, about $100 worth of fittings, and a bit of time. Time's, in, time's expensive. My time's worth a million dollars an hour. Um, no, it's not really, but it, time is time. So uh, all up, I would say for, let's call it $400 and a couple of hours worth of labour, I've got a firefighting unit that I can rely on. Now, will I buy another pump? Probably. Do I need it right now? No. Um, the firefighting unit is going on the back of the bongo, which is my next mission to resurrect and get out of here. And then we'll see how it goes with the tunnel on the back, which will be interesting. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, we're at 880 something, uh, 900 next. And then if we hit 1,000 subscribers, that's 978 more than I was expecting. So, anyway, have a great day. Stay safe. Get out and buy something cheap. Have a go at fixing it. If it doesn't work, you've lost nothing. You've learned something. You've had a go. You've tried to recycle some stuff instead of buying new stuff and then throwing it away when it breaks. So be good to yourselves. See you later.